Our scripture reading tonight will come from 1 Peter chapter 2 and Matthew chapter 5. Please, if you will, turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Now Matthew 5, <clears throat> five sixteen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. A way that I best understand scripture is by defining terms. The title of our lesson tonight is Being a Good Example. An example is a person or thing regarded in terms of their fitness to be imitated. Everyone, Christian or non-Christian, is an example to people every day. We as Christians should strive to be good examples because our soul and others depends on it. There are many, exam there are many examples of people throughout the Bible who are great examples for us today. A couple of examples I tend to look to are Daniel and Jesus. Both of these men have many instances where they did not back down from people and show their faith. The main instance that comes to my mind is with Daniel in, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego with King Nebuchadnezzar. Please turn with me to Daniel 3, and we will read verses 12 through 18. Daniel 3, 12 through 18. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in rage and fury, gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up? Now, if you are ready at the time, you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery in symphony with all kinds of music, and you fall down and worship the image which I have made. Good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the golden image which you have set up. As youth, we need to strive to be like these friends and be good examples for each other. If you would, turn with me to Luke 2, 42 through 52. Luke 2, 42 through 52. And when he was 12 years old, they went, up to the, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days, as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother did not know it. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a, they went a day's journey and sought to him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. Now, so it was that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I was about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and favor with God and men. In this account, Jesus, even at 12 years old, was teaching and learning in the temple. Throughout all of Daniel and Jesus' life, they were good examples and people that we need to try to imitate to this day. We should want to be imitated in daily life. Peter, talking about Jesus in 1 Peter 2.21 said, 
For, that, for to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. And on the topic of be, wanting to be imitated, Philippians 1.27, Paul says, Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. The more we strive for the faith of the gospel, the more confident we can be in wanting to be imitated. Turn with me to Hebrews 10, 19 through 25. Hebrews 10, 19 through 25. That reads, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us, through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful, and let us consider one another to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. In Christian life, we should always strive to become better examples day by day. Worship attendance is one of the most important and simple ways we can become better examples. Studying and reading our Bibles daily are also some of the most effective ways to become better examples. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The more we study our Bibles, the better we can understand what we need to do to be good examples. Like he said, a worker does not need to be ashamed, and we should not be ashamed in our faith daily. Having a strong prayer life is a very important step in becoming a good example. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you. And in Matthew 21, 22, he says, Whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. If we pray to help gain knowledge and wisdom, God will answer our prayers. But we need to do our part through study and prayer. In our everyday lives, we are teaching people with our words and deeds. When we are out around people, we need to make sure we are being good examples and teachers. Turn with me to James 3, 7 through 10. James 3, 7 through 10. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men, who we have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. We need to strive to do what the first part of verse 9 says, and bless our God and Father with our tongue. In Philippians 1.27, Paul says, Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. As Christians, someone is always watching and listening to us, and we need to make sure that when that happens, we're being good examples. Everyone's example will have a lasting effect. If you think about Abel, Hebrews 11.4 says, By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God, testifying of his gifts, and through it being dead, still speaks. Even after Abel died, we still learn from his example. Throughout our lives, others will see our works, and often it leaves a lasting effect on the ones who know us. Matthew 5.16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is an excellent scripture because it brings our points together. We need to be shining lights and we want people to see our good works so we can glorify our Father. Revelation 14.13 says, Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. We can see from this passage and Hebrews 11.4 with Abel that our works will follow us even after we die. 
To the best of our ability, we need to make sure we are a good example to all, because like it said in Revelation 14, 13, our works will follow us. There are many passages in the Bible that talk to us about how important it is to be good examples and teachers. If there is any Christian here that feels like they have fallen short of their responsibilities, the church is here to pray with and for you. If there is anyone here who has not begun their walk as a Christian and desires to do so tonight, there is no need to wait. If you have any of these needs tonight, you have an opportunity to come forward as we stand and sing. Amen. <laughs>